got the horse show this way. Hold on. Fuck. 
I do pump out more videos, I do vlog more, and this car will be a little bit you know, more uh, for me. So, uh, so that never may be.
we're gonna see, man, if it's gonna be a V8 or a six cylinder like the MC20. Um, I do think it'll be a six cylinder because I can't see why they would put, why they would release an MC20, which is supposed to be a supercar with a six cylinder, and then put the Gran Turismo out with an eight cylinder. That's obviously gonna sound better than an MC20. It wouldn't make any sense to me. So that's why I think there's gonna be a six cylinder. Probably the same engine as the um, as the MC20. You know? So I do think the electric one though, that Fogel Fogelar, Fogelar, I don't know how you pronounce it. Fogelar, they pronounce it some way. I don't know, I forgot, I forgot how to pronounce it, but the electric version. In the pictures, I wasn't a fan of it as much as when I saw the video. I saw the video, I was like, okay. It looks a lot better than it does in the pictures. Maybe in person, it looks better than it does in the video. Um, I also think it might be colored. That, uh, that rosé is color kind of, I think, cool people. They either scratch this white or blue.
eventually going to split the customer base that would buy a Levac, right, to the Nikali. Especially on the used market. So, uh, being out for a couple of years and you've seen on the used market, now you're going to pick, they're going to pick between that and Levac if you want to sit that SUV. Which to me might drive, drive down in appreciation even worse. You know, um, I don't think that the Nikali is going to sell well. Anybody looking for an SUV, you know, a Maserati SUV is just gonna go for a Levant. I mean, Kali to me is the size of like some, it's like a, I don't know, man. It's like a Jeep, you know. I just, I don't see it. You know, I don't see a place for it. You know, for where you think you're gonna sell so many of these, I just don't see it. Especially when you're doing all these different versions of it. I just don't see it. You should just release the Trofeo version. There should be no V6 or Kali. You know what I mean? Um, a base version. It shouldn't be. It should just be Trofeo and maybe a GT model or a sport model. And that's it. You know? Um, like, Maserati doesn't have to make. Like, it seems like they're trying to turn themselves into the Italian version of Mercedes. To be honest with you, they've never been there. I came from Mercedes. I love, you know, I love Mercedes. I came from Mercedes. But they've never been a Mercedes. One thing Mercedes always had was reliability. You know what I mean? And that's the one question that everybody always has when they look at Maserati. You know, they just stopped asking those questions with Ferrari and Lamborghini. You know what I mean? They just stopped asking those questions. With like the Aventador. You know what I mean? So, you know, I do think Maserati does have the potential for try to mimic Mercedes or mimic, you know, BMW, I don't think that's going to work. What I think they should have did was went after, um, just like Doug DeMuro said, he, they should have went after Porsche. You know what I mean? Um, they should have went after that, you know, that area. Um, I think they also could have went after, like, that Jaguar. Like, to me, Maserati's always matched up with Aston Martin in terms of being obscure. You know, uh, Aston, I think they, you know, even some of the cooler uh, Jaguars, you know, they should have, you know, to me, continued being there and just pushed and made more supercars. So instead of the Kali, they should have made something that was a little bit below that, the MC20. You know what I mean? Um, that wasn't the Gran Turismo. They should have made something else that was two doors, okay, that wasn't the MC20. Like around the Gran Turismo because I think it would be two different cars, you know what I mean? And the MC20 to me is overpriced for the engine that it has, it's missing a V8 engine, you know. That look of that car, like it, it, it's begging for a V8, begging for an eight cylinder, you know, some screen. Like, you can explain how that car has the same look, right, as a, um, a 488. They get 
get the best sound out of the six I think I've ever heard. Especially on like the new, the new Turbo S's. They have a pretty decent sound. They don't sound like the older Porsches. It sounds like an extremely loud six cylinder. Like it's, especially when you, you get to the high res, it doesn't happen. But the new ones, they have a little bit better of a sound. That's what I think this shit is. Really going after more of an F1 sound versus it sounds like an STI or a, a, you know something like that. A B, no, not a Billy a BMW, oh, kind of BMW. Uh,